with the success obtained in the final at the Australian Open 2023. Novak Djokovic got the 22nd Grand Slam of his incredible career. With the matches with Rafael Nadal in the all-time rankings, the Roland Garros, scheduled between May and June, can represent a greedy opportunity to overtake the standings. Noel, with the success obtained at the Rod Lever Arena against Stefano Tsitsipas, hoisted himself to 10 titles obtained in Melbourne. An absolute record, which at least as regards the Grand Slams was only achieved by Nadal at Roland Garros. But if we also take into consideration the 1,500 tournaments, the list expands and sees the presence, in addition to the two aforementioned of Roger Federer, who once again bears witness to the authentic, almost unchallenged dominance of the big three in the last 20 years. In the past few hours, another great news has also arrived for the Serbian champion. He will be able to participate in the US Open and therefore poten potentially contribute to another incredible feat that he has already stroked in 2021, the calendar Grand Slam, which consisted in the victory of all four majors in the same calendar year. On that occasion, his triumphal march was interrupted right in the last act, in the final at Flushing Meadows, where Daniil Medvedev barred the doors to the title, winning his first Grand Slam title. The Belgrader has won five of the last seven Grand Slams he has taken part in. Impressive numbers that automatically make Djokovic the tennis player most likely to win the remaining Grand Slams of the season. The 35-year-old, after his triumphant trip to Australia, will leave the 500 in Dubai at the end of February. If you like my videos then make sure you hit the subscribe button down there and press the bell icon for more awesome videos like these.